Let's talk about underperformance. Let me ask you one question. What is underperforming in your life? What have you set up? What are you doing that's not delivering the results that you want? Think about it. Are you on a weight loss program and you're not losing weight or not losing as much as you think you can or originally thought? Are you trying to be independent? Are you trying to be free from an employer, from a job? And your personal independence day doesn't seem like it's going to happen soon or not as you initially thought. What is underperforming in your life? That, the concept, the practice, the science and the art that addresses the issues of underperforming assets or activities is called optimization. Optimization is something that I remember doing in the 70s. What can I get, where can I get more profit? Where can I get more results with the same or less effort? For instance, I remember years ago when the first curling bar, for those of you that work out, there's the straight bar, and then someone came up with these this bar that had these angles in it. And it took the pressure and the pain off the wrist when doing curls. And then there was a, a thing that you hung around your neck that you put your elbows in. I remember this in the late 70s, called the arm blaster. And I'll never forget certain people, certain bodybuilders at the time were, the, were endorsing it. They were like the spokesmen for, for this arm blaster and the, and the bent curling bar. And it really worked because it addressed a couple issues. Number one, you're starting low, you're ending high. Think about it when you're doing curls when you're working out and, and you bodybuilder guys, you know this. You start low, you end high. There is an arcing motion. If you look at it sideways, it's an arc. And what's interesting is, but you're not getting the gains. So what do you do? You have to optimize that movement. You still have to start low and still have to end high. Now, technically, I know there's gonna be people disagreeing with this as there are with everything that I say or you say. But here's the thing. One of the issues with doing curls is cheating. Your elbow's going back and you don't have as far to go up. That's the first thing. Second thing is swinging. Swinging and letting the momentum of the weight um, kind of uh, swing itself up to the up position. And if you could eliminate that kind of cheating, you could eliminate that kind of swinging, then the very motion that you would be doing anyways is optimized. So let's eliminate the swinging. That way you might have to lower the weight, but you're still gonna get the results in the biceps. Optimizing movements. It's called the efficiency of movement. Why? Why do this 10 times when tweaking one little thing and doing it 10 times gives you twice the result? That's called optimization. And what do you optimize? You optimize things that are underperforming. In your life, what could be underperforming? What if every relationship you have just isn't working out? What if you keep getting left by the same for the same reasons over and over again. What if uh, you're job hopping and things just don't work out for you with your employer? What if you're trying to escape the retail world? What if you work in a damn mall? What if you work in the soul-sucking field of retail but you want to get out and, the, and you, you've come to realize that bitching and moaning is not an action plan? And it's as, it's about as effective as wishing and hoping, okay? Bitching and moaning, wishing and hoping are not plans of action. Valid plans of action. So you have to take a step in the right direction. For instance, one year ago, 
I started a channel. I did not expect it to take off. I expected just to do Q&A. About four months into it, four months into my YouTube channel, I saw that there was a few dollars that were being made. I'm making videos and I'm making a certain amount of money, income. And this is just AdSense. This is not even creating a product or, or selling a service. So I thought, if I just scale it up, maybe I can double it. Well, I scaled it up, but my income didn't double. So I had to optimize the other things. It wasn't just about doing more videos. It was about optimizing my tags, optimizing uh, the, the time of day that I upload. It was about optimizing uh, the copy that I use and the headlines and the description. It was about uh, calls of action. It was about inspiration. It was more about inspiration than bitching and moaning. When I optimized all those things, my income literally went up seven times. Literally. I 7 x my YouTube income. Now, right now, I am making about 10 times more than I was. And I'm saying to myself, this is like a real job now. This is, this is actually income. Someone first said to me when I first started, and I asked, I asked uh, some of the beard community, some of you guys, questions about uh, YouTube channels and so forth, and, and got some really great answers uh, from people and, and uh, developed some nice first-time relationships with people, some friendly relationships. Uh, people reached out to me privately, and it was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And I put certain things to practice because there's nothing new under the sun. And people have ideas, you use them. So what happened was I said, okay, I'm going to pay for my cell phone. I want a free cell phone, and I have a Galaxy Note 5, and I pay a, about $100 a month on it. Well, I achieved that pretty darn quickly, just from views alone. And then someone said, if you can designate certain bills towards uh, for your videos and for your online work, your virtual work, then those are like nice metrics. So I started paying for my started paying for my phone, cell phone, free cell phone. And it wasn't from cutting hair, it was from doing videos. And like I said the other day, I never wake up, I never ever wake up and say, oh shit, I gotta do a video today. No, I get excited. I wake up and say, I get to do videos today. What a neat thing that is. It gives you a little taste of what it's like to be an online entrepreneur, which I never was. And I'm really, really enjoying it. So I started paying for my cell phone, uh, various bills, car payments, which I don't have a car payment, I pay cash for everything. I guess it would be the equivalent of a car payment. And then someone said, well, you know you made it when you can start paying your mortgage or rent with your virtual online entrepreneurial income. Well, guess what? I reached it. A year later, I reached it. Within one year, I reached that level where now mortgage slash rent is paid for through online virtual income. And when it comes down to bang for my minute, think about this, but not bang for my buck, bang for my minute. A minute of my effort on YouTube and through my online entrepreneurial ventures pays me more than a minute of my work cutting hair. Interesting, huh? So when it comes down to minutes, I make more doing this than this. It took me a year to get to that point, but I've been slow and steady. Did you ever take a cruise and you see how slow the cruise ships go? But what's interesting is, you're, while you're playing, dancing, watching shows, eating, sleeping, you wake up in a port far away in tropical weather. I always thought, 
thought that was neat. I just, I had no idea how slow cruise ships travel. But it was always amazing to wake up at a different port because they're slow and they're steady and they're going in the right direction. I implore you to stay slow, stay steady, keep going in the right direction, and you're gonna reach your goals. And one of the things you do is you optimize the areas that are underperforming. If you're not using the proper tags, how can people find you if you have something important to say? So to continue from an earlier video, in my coaching, personal one-to-one -one coaching, one of the things that I could help you do is to optimize the areas that are underperforming in your life. And sometimes it takes a spare set of eyes looking in at you to see those areas that where you could be performing better. Sometimes your own eyes don't see the areas that you're underperforming and you need to optimize those areas. I can help you with that. My email is gb at georgebruno.com. I can spend an hour with you on the phone, whether it be one session or ongoing. And I would say once a week would be the most uh, efficient use because I give homework as well and I keep you accountable. I sit down with someone once a week and go over my goals and they keep me accountable and I pay that person. I'm, per, I'm a fairly disciplined person, but my discipline falls short. I need someone to push me further than I would push myself. For instance, if you're into, I love stretching, I love yoga and stretching or yoga like stretching and many times. I remember when working with a physical therapist, I would test out certain range of motion and that person would grab my leg or arm or and push me just an inch beyond what I would normally do. Just one inch. And it hurt a little bit. It was like, ah. But guess what? My range of motion improved after a couple sessions, but it took a little bit of pressure, a little bit of discomfort. That is what a coach does. A coach doesn't make a nice fluffy marshmallowy ride for you. If you want to find out what areas you might be underperforming in and how to optimize those areas, let me know, gb at georgebruno.com. And I might as well take this to the streets. Those of you that want to go further and leave the world of retail in the same way that I am, let me know. I can coach you in that direction as well because it is a reality for me. I've pursued many dreams in my lifetime and achieved every one. And when I reach a certain mountaintop, I look around and see that there's a mountain just a little bit higher off in the distance. And I, cr I cultivated this thing in my head that says, I want to climb that mountain now. Because that's what optimization is. And I owe it to myself to play to win. I don't play to lose. I don't play to be mediocre. If you want to play to win, email me, gb at georgebruno.com. You won't be disappointed. You can do it. I know you can, because I believe in you. Now go out and do it.